G'day guys, welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripple week. So what we've got going in this video, it's only a fairly small one. I've had a lot on with the bloody, the camping and doing this bloody shed has been kicking my ass time wise. Anyway, so a lot of this is about the shed doing this, getting the shed bloody done. Um, we have Matt's girlfriend, Hayley, a little bit of footage uh, that Matt got while we are doing the, teaching her how to ride a motorbike. And what else? Oh, we've got a new sticker for the sticker board. And I don't know, maybe some other stuff, who knows? All right, let's go to the bloody shed. Rightio guys, now I've been away on the Grampians trip, I've just got back uh, late this afternoon. Let's go and have a look at what Nay's been up to in her wood shop. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. What's going on? Well, I've got a camera. Oh dear. So, as you can see, oh. well actually, first I haven't seen it all, pretty much. So everything is now panelled, it's all trimmed everywhere, everything is done. Now, nay... You can walk on the floor. I can oh, walk on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Sorry. It all adds I'll character. tell you about these lines in a minute. Oh, stop being blurry. I don't know why it gets blurry. Obviously that light goes funny in here. So she's now done the same that I did on the front side of it. It's now been done on there, so that door just looks Brilliant. I'll most probably put a handle where those bolts are there. Um, so while I've been away, Nay has totally painted the everything with the white, and that was the jet dry. Yep. Paint. Yep. Two coats. Two coats. And then you thought it was looking a bit clinical, a bit hospital or something. Bit, yeah, and it was a bit cold. Like it had yeah. that real. It was bland. I yep. don't like bland. So. She's come up with this great idea of trying to make it look like um, wood flooring that's been painted white, obviously. So you're basically painting lines, aren't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got my teeny tiny brush and my lid of paint and um, painting lines. So the items, so you're going to do this and then you've got there's some special paint thing here, glaze. Yeah, glaze, it's not a special thing, but yeah, glaze that will mix over it to smoke glaze, so it'll make it a bit... Antique-y. Antique-y, hazy, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's trial and error. Yeah. We're making this shit up as we go along. Cool. So, she'll continue doing these lines, then she'll put in these, these ones glaze. here, and then you're talking about doing maybe nail holes as well. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, there's... <laughs> dripped paint because it's my work and I always drip yeah. paint. Yeah, see that one looks like nails there. Yeah, so yeah. I'll end up doing things like that. And then tomorrow, when we do the glaze, these dark lines will probably lighten up a little bit. Yeah. So they'll be a little less harsh. Yeah. All right, let's look. I don't know what it's going to come up like on the video, but when I first saw it, because you'd only done that bit there, and I went, holy crap, that looks, that, I mean, looking at it now, from my, on the, my naked eye, it looks like, it looks wood like planks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. And it just, it um, subdues that whiteness, the white, the... Yeah, yeah, and the upside is, when we do the glaze, hopefully all these, because when I painted it white, all of a sudden, you could see every Everything. single hole. Yeah, the floor. it's got a, it, the floor's and got a lot of mix. And as I was painting it, more of it was lifting. Yeah. So the glaze should hopefully go into that and it'll end up having a slight yeah. not look to it. I don't know. Cool, all right, I'll let you talk. Excellent. I'll finish fine. making the coffees. <laughs> That's what I thought you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, guys, so what you're seeing. <laughs> it's a very bad drag queen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Matt has got lawn shoes on, as they say, spikes. Apparently they use it when they do the epoxy claws. Yep. Well, I wasn't a believer, but it seems to be doing the job. So Nay finished doing all the lines and the nail holes. Right, yeah, so what we've, what Nay's buddy got is this, what is it called? Glaze. Glaze, yeah. Yeah. 
did in the black and but Nay's saying it's a little bit too darker than what she wanted. So Matt's now trying to take a bit, bit of it off. Just a little bit. And it's yeah. Really... It is? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah it's... Right. I'm well, very... it certainly looks like floorboards, I'll give you that. I'm scared for him. Right. Well, if you're going to fall over, do it now because I'm about to pack up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> fall. You got big enough memory card, just keep filming. Yep. Yeah. Because it will happen as soon as you turn it off. I'm trying very hard not to, though. Rightio, guys. So, now this bloody shed is a done deal. It's now done. So this floor is all finished. It's got actually two coats of um, sealer on it. I'll just give you a bit of a close up on it. And you can just see with that, the way Nay's painted the lines, done those nail holes, and then that glaze, which has put all that, this shown it with all that stuff there. It's just brought that up really good. It looks bloody fantastic. I mean, once all the benches and stuff are in. So, two coats of sealer. All the boards have had a uh, sealer put on them, just one coat. So now all we've got to do is today, go down to Bunnings, grab a whole heap of wood. We're gonna make a bench for along there, and then a bench for along there. All we want to do is get the frame done, hopefully get a top on it, which will be the same as what I've got in the man cave. And that's our plan. And then we can do the bottom uh, shelf, which will then we'll make at a later date drawers and cupboards that she can close so you don't get all the um, sawdust in them. Beauty. Not sure how we're supposed to be building benches in the shed when the saw's out there. Getting hail. But it has been, um, what do you call it, Melbourne weather so it should clear up anytime soon. Whoa! <laughs> well, we're all fuzzy. There we go. Alright guys, so this is what we've got done. So all the benches are all in, all the way around. Looking good so far, isn't it? Damn yeah, and they are yeah. strong. <laughs> That's it, you could dance on the bloody things. If I was shorter. <laughs> <laughs> um, got up the shelves, we just did that tonight. So now we're gonna start uh, moving some stuff in, eh? Yep. So the, the idea will be that um, we'll have, as we go, build drawers. Drawers and cupboards. Yeah. Yeah, because that'll keep a lot of the sawdust out. Out of all the bits and pieces. Yeah. Cool. So there you go, guys. We're, it's been a long road. For me, it's been a long road because I thought it was going to be quicker. Yeah. But um, there you go. All right, back to the man cave. Right, yeah, guys. So got a bit of footage of... Uh, Hayley, which is Matt's girlfriend, going for her first motorcycle ride on good old Charlie. We actually tried to get Tango started, bloody thing wouldn't go, so I ended up taking Max out. Matthew's in the Jeep. What we actually did was, there's a road near the Proving Ground, and we had her going up and down that road, just on the tar, getting used to the bike, and tell you what, she did really, really well. She just she worked out the gears, she started turning, and then she's turning the opposite way. Just bloody crazy. She's just picking it up really good. Then what I did was uh, we took her around the outside loop of, which is a fair distance, around the proving ground. Here's just a little bit of footage matching the car. Yeah, Jeep. No bloody worries, mate. Oh, that's a puddle and a half. Ah, oh, pussies. Hey, I love how he was disappointed that I didn't take her through the uh, the big puddle. <laughs> Squeeze the 
gap. Ooh, that was tight. So there you go guys, that's a, a girl getting into motorbikes. She actually really enjoyed that. Um, so hopefully we'll see a little bit more of Hayley. Sorry I didn't actually do any, it was just the last spur of the minute and we just zipped out and I didn't even think about bloody filming. So luckily Matt got a bit of that on his phone. Righto, back to the man cave. Rightio guys, so great, had some mail come in. Have you noticed the, uh, the, the, the beanie here? Matt, unbeknownst to me, he went and uh, got two, two beanies made up. He just turned up and I was like, oh my God, this is bloody awesome. He also had a long sleeve t-shirt made up with some stuff on it as well. Hopefully he'll wear that when we're doing the next uh, CB250, you'll be able to see that. We've got a new sticker for the sticker board. We've got a write up, we've got a picture and a sticker, obviously. Let's put on the short lookers. And this is from uh, Daniel and Danielle. Hey Mark and Nate, just a quick letter. Thought I would send you a new sticker for your sticker board. Here is the sticker. Boom, Moto Dan's. Obviously a YouTube channel and Instagram channel. Uh, I got recommended your channel about a year ago while searching for some uh, camp cooking ideas. I have since watched all MCT and am making my way through the rest of your vids. I've recently bought two DR650s double the bloody fun uh, for myself and my partner and we are in the process of modding them similar to Max. We we're originally from Scotland, now living across the water from you in Ashburton, New Zealand. New Zealand, oh my god. Picturesque. Land of the fairies and mystical things. Um, we both love to camp with our bikes and creating videos of our trips. Check out uh, see what you think of our, our channel is Moto Dance. There's the link to their channel. I'll also put a link in the description. Uh, keep up your videos. I'm looking forward to seeing the end result with the CB. The CB. Well, here's a sneak peek. Oh, round you go. There. Oh, there you go. I should actually have a. Um, we've got one more thing to do on this CB, and then we can do the kind of like the finale of that but then we've got the ramble and then there's all i'm not saying anymore um uh what do you call it the cb also when you get around to building your bike shed keep on keeping on dan and dan well thank you very much dan here's the uh picture that they sent so that uh is the two dr 650s look at them the beautiful things and there's a bit of a sneak preview of uh new zealand's landscape and that's nothing compared to what you might check out their bloody uh, channel. Sure, you'll have, you'll have to have some some of that good shit on there. Right, oh, so Dan and Dan, Daniel and Danielle, thank you very much. Let's go and put it on the board. Right, yeah. So first of all, Scotland up here in that messy area, along with bloody England and all that kind of stuff. And we are where are we? Australia, and then over there, there's New Zealand there, just across the water. From me. Righty, eh? Let's get this sticker up. I reckon we'll whack it right just like that. Moto Dan's. Now you might notice just there, this is a, another sticker. Another sticker from the Griffins. I'll do that next Man Cave Tuesday. Cool, all right, back to the man cave. Rightio guys, so while these credits are rolling up here of the level three uh, crewmen, I thought what I'd do is something a little bit new and that is read out a list of the new crewmen that we've got on Patreon. So here they are. Steve Convey from Victoria, obviously in Australia. Um, Zinzan, that's a pretty cool one. Zinzan Luke Johnson from Tasmania. Uh, Steve O'Neill from Victoria. Des Baker from Victoria, and he's just a couple of towns over that way. Um, Tim Farrell, Farrell, not Farrell, Tim Farrell from Maine in USA, United States of America. Um, Paul Tiu, hopefully I got that one pronounced right, from Victoria. And last but not least, Christian Michael George II. Um, 
from West Virginia in the United States of America. Well, there you go, guys. Cool. So thanks to everybody for uh, supporting the channel. Right, eh? Back to the man cave. Well, there you go, guys. That is Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. I'm in the shed. I'll give you a quick look. So this is what uh, we've pretty much got done so far. All this stuff is just plonked here. We've got to work out spots for it, but we've put up some more shelving. Nays to slowly getting all her, her stuff out, making it all nice and pretty. She's absolutely loving it. Um, last night we've, we've used the oil heater, and I tell you what, it just heated this place up and it just stayed warm, so, which makes me happy of her not bloody using this uh, Kero one, just sucking in all those fumes all the time. So there you go. Righty eight, you know what the drill is, remember? Keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, just Keep on keeping on.